Well, I think our big focus was um, bringing the team together. Right now, we don't want to blame anybody. We don't want to separate anybody. So I think that the biggest thing that the seniors have been trying to do is we've called a few team meetings. And I really think that our, our hopes are up right now. Like, we're, we're just where we should be, and we're ready to get back on that field and practice again. What have those team meetings been like? Uh, really helpful, actually. We've gotten a lot of things out. We've, we've talked a lot. We've um, really just figured out where we want to go from here, which is obviously up, and we're just really excited to get back and play Arkansas this game. And do you just want to talk, give a little brief scouting report on the Razorbacks, if you have one? Actually, I don't have a, a scouting report yet. We haven't um, gotten a chance to talk about them, but we're not really taking them as um, somebody different. We're just going out there and playing how we should play and how we want to play, and and hopefully getting back on the right track. Can you talk about anything you guys are possibly doing differently in practice, like maybe approaches at the plate or I think defensively? Well, I think that um, we have not made very good adjustments um, in these last few games. So I think that really just getting smarter overall at the play on the field, um, just in all different areas that we have to work on. So I think that um, we're just focusing on not dwelling on the mistakes, but then making the adjustments that go with them. You guys obviously have a big senior leadership core. Um, Megan talked a little bit about you guys calling team meetings this week. Could you talk a little bit about what those were like and what got brought up? We did. I called one last night. Um, I think it was about two hours. <laughs> and it was just a really comfortable setting. Everybody spoke how they felt. We got a better understanding for perspectives and what they thought the problem was. We really figured out that there's not much of a problem. We still have the same chemistry. We're still the same talented players. We just need to pick up the pieces and put them back together right now. Is it good? Like Megan said, you'd rather do it now than obviously when it's postseason time. So I guess there's a silver lining to it. You'd rather go through this stretch now than, say, a month from now, right? Absolutely. Um, Kelly, our SID, handed us some stats about teams that have won the World Series and went through rough patches. and. I mean, there was a Fresno baseball team that was something like 40 and 37. And UCLA last year, they hit a rough streak. Every team has faced adversity, and what we can control is our response, and that's what we're going to fix. What's the biggest difference between starting the season like you did, one of the, be the best start in program history, to, to now being on the six-game slide? What do you think the difference is? Truthfully, there's no physical difference between us. There's no chemistry like I said it's still the same the only thing right now is mental sometimes we go out there and I, I kind of feel like the wind's already out of our sails and uh, we're gonna fix that we all had a talk I feel great we're gonna get after it this week of practice and